Greetings to all. Welcome to the course on Introduction to Electric Vehicles. So this is a technological review course. So by this time, you must have seen an electric vehicle in your nearby roads. In India, we have been seeing this Tata Nexon EV and in other countries like US or Europe, you might have seen a Tesla or some other vehicle from the Volvo companies. So these are all coming to the market and with this, the demand for engineers also is rising at a huge pace. So these are the some of the news articles which shows that how the top companies are fighting for the employees and how the employability of the student is being tested or they want the demand for the EV technology is rising and with that the skill required for the students to learn is also getting very very crucial. The core thing is that the jobs in auto sector are changing its nature. The earlier IC engine are being replaced with the motors and controllers and the battery and the charging systems. So this is creating a huge job opportunities. In case of India, the Bengaluru is leading this EV job spike and in next seven years or in next five, six years, the Bangalore alone will be creating 50 lakhs jobs by 2030. So if you are buying a career into EV space, this course is a starter for you. What we are going to teach in this course will be a technological review and considering every part of the EV, we will be basically telling you what are the technology used in this portion, in the motor control region, in the DC converters, how are BMS working, how are uh, vehicle dynamics, what are vehicle dynamics. So this is all about the complete technological review course. So there will be basically five parts which we will be covering in this course. The first one is being the vehicle dynamics. In vehicle dynamics, we will be covering the types of resistive forces, the modeling of vehicle and how a vehicle speed is being calculated depending given the particular parameters of the vehicle. So uh, this will cover in the vehicle dynamics part and we will be also doing a MATLAB simulating project based on this uh, mathematical modeling of vehicle. Then there is an energy management system or the battery management system. We will be talking a brief about battery management system. What are the types of battery being used? The what is lithium ion battery? This is being covered in this section of the ESS or the energy storage system. Then we will be talking about the electric motors, the type of motor, the future of motor and the control scheme which are being used currently. And then we will be going to the chargers and the charging converters which are being used currently. So this is all about the which are we will be covering in this course. So we'll be starting this course with the history and the market survey of the vehicles or the electric vehicles when the first electric vehicle came to market and how it is going throughout the uh, last century. Then we'll be going to vehicle types, what is HEV, PHEV or fuel cell vehicle and we'll be learning about the dynamics of the vehicle, a basics of dynamics. Then the traction drive which consists of motor and the controller. So we'll be learning about these two. Then we'll be learning about the what are the battery technologies available, what are the future batteries and a basics about the BMS. Then we'll be learning about the type of chargers, the charging connecting connectors which are being used and the protocol which are currently being used. And a brief about a government policies. This is centric to India, uh, what the Indian government is doing for enhancing or increasing the reach of electric vehicles every section or every module will brief you about the overall technology which are being used if you can if you want to dive deeper into a particular technology suppose you are interested in traction drives and you want to go deeper into traction drive, then there is a specific course for that also but this is a brief of all the technologies which are being used in electric vehicles so if you are interested and if you want to dive deep into this electric vehicle domain or want to work in future you can have this course and this course will be completed within a period of a, it consists of a almost 30 lectures so thank you for watching this thank you